Hello and Namaskar. My name is Devanshu Mukherjee and I am thrilled to bring to you the much-awaited training on SAP Analytics Cloud Planning. Mark your calendars. It's starting on 21st of September 2024. Registration is open now and it will close on 14th of September 2024 at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Duration will be around 8 to 10 weeks and the modus operandi will be weekends, Saturday and Sunday. There will be a Zoom meeting for those who already registered before 14th of September 2024 at 11.59. Uh, PM EST, I will be sending a Zoom meeting invite and the details will be shared. The timings will be 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, which is New York Standard Time or Toronto, Canada Standard Time. And the way to register for this is send me an email at devanshu.mukherjee at gmail.com as you can see on the screen and I will send you all the details for registering for this training. Firstly, I would like to uh, say uh, sorry to all my followers and people who have got trained from me. Sorry because uh, it, there was a delay in uh, planning and executing this uh, training and also releasing the dates, launching this training. There was a delay. I know a lot of people have been waiting uh, anxiously. So, uh, I apologize for that, for the delay, but I think the wait is finally over and now I will be launching this training full-fledged. So now let's see what are the course content for this training. What will we be covering? So there will be around nine chapters as you can see and let me make it slightly bigger. So nine chapters will cover the end-to-end -end SAC reporting dashboarding and planning. So all the three components are included, which are your SAC reporting, SAC dashboarding and SAC planning. The focus for this training will be on SAC planning. So let's go through all the chapters, what will be covered. Chapter one, as you know, um, is customary. We will start with an introduction of what exactly is SAC. What are the different license types in SAC? And now because SAC is integrated with BTP, something which uh, SAP has launched a um, few years back, which is business technology platform. So I will give you an introduction of what exactly is SAP BTP and how SAC is integrated in BTP now. Data sphere, SAC planning, uh, everything is now gradually integrated in BTP, business technology platform which is an umbrella offering. So we'll talk about that, what exactly it is and how different products are offered as part of BGP. Then we will also see what is the difference between reporting, purely reporting out of SAC versus planning in SAC, which is going to be the focus. When, uh, and, and then we will also answer the question, is coding required in SAC? Uh, the answer, the short answer uh, is yes. Coding is required when you go for more complex and advanced requirements. So we will definitely cover that as well. Chapter two, then we'll talk about the integration scenarios. SAC is mostly integrated with uh, SAP, SAP uh, source systems, but that doesn't mean that it cannot integrate with non-SAP. It seamlessly integrates with non-SAP as well. But the focus of this training will be integration with primarily the SAP source systems like S4 HANA. SAC can also connect to BW and as I mentioned, non SAP as well. So we'll look into that. Then the chapter three, we will focus on reporting versus planning. Chapter one gave an introduction to that, but now we will delve a little deeper into uh, the difference between reporting and planning. So we will cover the reporting and dashboarding. We will see the different terminologies and different concepts of SAC planning, and then we'll compare them side to side when will we use reporting, when will we use planning, and when we will you go for both of them. Usually in a real-time project, you need both. You need planning, but at the end of the day, you also need to show the plan versus actual, and that's where your reports will come into picture. So we look into that as well. Then we will actually go into the meat, chapter four of this particular training, which is focused on SAC planning. 
So basically what we will have is we will have planning concepts. We will discuss the different terminologies. We'll go through a customer scenario as usual in my planning um, uh, and other trainings in my BW4 HANA prior trainings as well. I always start with the customer scenario and we try to complete that customer scenario end to end as part of this training so that you can actually get a feel of what a type of uh, implementation happens in a real customer project and then how the configuration and how the implementation is actually performed in the system. So that's why we'll take a customer scenario and go through that. We'll also discuss driver based planning, what exactly it means and how do we use it. We will see different model types, account based model versus measure based model. And also we will discuss the new model type, which is the recommended model from SAP. Then we will see how to do a data import into a planning model. We will also talk about dimension types, how many types of dimensions we can have public versus private, which one is better when to use which one. Then we will also look at dimension formulas. We will talk about um, the FSVs and CDS views. FSVs stand for financial statement version. This is basically a hierarchy. So GL account hierarchy, if I have to simplify that. So we will see how we will have to create a GL account hierarchy in S4 HANA and how we create CDS views based on those hierarchical master data CDS views. And then how do we uh, integrate that with SAC because in our customer scenario, what we'll be covering is S4 HANA integrated with SAC and we will do financial statement planning, which is nothing but your income statement P and L. So we will focus on P and L profit and loss also known as income statement. So it will be a profit and loss, profit and loss or income statement planning. So for that FSVs are a very important piece. So we will see how to create an FSV from scratch and also we will try to create a CDS view and then import that data into SAC. We will also import the transaction data. So first we will import master data once we create the FSVs and CDS views and then we will also import the transaction data. Then we will see how to enter data in planning using the input screens, something called input screens. Uh, we will also talk about disaggregation functionality which is inherent how it behaves and what are the types of disaggregations. Then we will also look at the data actions and multi actions. So data actions and multi actions are a way to basically do your complex coding or uh, copy requirements or you know, you have some some advanced formulas you have to write. You have to write complex scenarios uh, for, and, and you have to combine different steps. So we will also discuss what is a data action, how do you code in a data action and how you combine different data actions using a multi action. Then we'll also see that what if scenarios are performed, how it is performed using value driver trees. We will talk about that. Then we will also talk about allocations, a very important concept. So how allocations are done. So basically they're allocating data from a higher level granularity to a lower level granularity. So how it is performed in SAC. And then we will also look at the commenting functionality in planning, which is also heavily used. Then subsequently, chapter five, we'll talk about stories, filters, linked analysis, blending, advanced filters and hyperlinking. So these are basically all reporting related functionalities. So once we are done with the planning, once the planners have entered data, they have run the data actions and they are happy with the uh, values they see uh, in the reports, then we will actually create the reports which will compare the actuals versus plan. And in those reports, what type of functionalities we have, we will talk about that in chapter five. Chapter six, we will go a little bit more advanced into predictive analytics, where we will see how SAC out of the box offers time series and other types of predicted predictive analytics, predictive forecasting, and we will talk about those different scenarios in chapter six. Then we will touch upon the security and authorization again. Once you are done with the implementation, once you are done with your stories and dashboards, next comes how you want to secure the data. And we will talk about that in SAC planning and reporting. What are the different authorizations, privileges, and how do we 
define the teams and assign those roles and authorization privileges to those teams. Then once we are done with that, we will transport our content from our development system to quality system. So I'll show you how our transport mechanism is done. What are the different ways we can deploy or transport content from one SSE tenant to another SSE tenant. And we will also use the content network, which is a preferred way now. No longer export import. Yes, that, uh, that functionality is, is available, but the preferred and recommended way is using the content network. And then finally, we will also talk about basic scripting methodology in SAC. So SAC uses a subset of JavaScript and that language is called TypeScript. So that subset of JavaScript is called TypeScript and how we can script different widgets and buttons and functionalities using those scripting in TypeScript. We will talk about that, uh, but we will not go into too much of a detail on that because that's a very, very advanced topic. Uh, but as an SSC consultant, you must know the basics. So we'll touch upon those basics. And as usual, we will have dedicated questions and answer se sessions after each session and before each session we will have those dedicated Q&A session. So all in all, this is the overall uh, content of my training. I'm going to keep it very, very hands-on and I'm going to keep it customer scenario driven so that you will get an actual feel of a real customer scenario. All right, guys. So with that, I would like you to, uh, you know, start uh, registering for the course content. Uh, for the planning, uh, training, I mean, and uh, again, mark your calendars, just to reiterate, the dates are 21st September, registration is open now, it closes on 14th September 2024 at 11.59 p.m. EST, uh, it will be a weekend only batch, and the timing would be 8 to 10 a.m. EST. Please send me an email at devanshu.mukherjee at gmail.com for registering. I am really excited to see you all there and we will have a great session together. Take care, talk to you soon.